Good morning, everybody. I wanted to make a quick video, um, and I'm going to make it as quick as I can, about the survey that I sent out yesterday. Um, my biggest goal for 2016 is to become a better leader, um, and that's why I sent out the survey yesterday, was in hopes to get some feedback of what you could use um, and what you need to make your, be your business better um, and what I can do to help. Um, so I wanted to address a couple things that were mentioned yesterday. And don't worry, the survey was completely anonymous, so I don't know who wrote what. Um, but I kind of want to explain a couple of things. Um, and also explain what my plans are for 2016. Um, the first thing, or the first couple of three things that I asked were about different calls. Team meeting calls, new consultant calls, um, and informational calls for if you have a potential recruit. Um, the team calls are exactly what they're called, team calls. Um, they are supposed to be for me to talk about what's coming up, um, maybe some events coming up, some issues coming up, um, but it's for us to sit there and talk. So if it's just me logging in and talking about what's coming up and I have no feedback, no questions, then some of y'all are right. It, it doesn't help, it's no good. Um, so I'm going to continue to do team calls once a month but if I don't have the interaction or if I don't have the people logging in, um, then I'm going to quit doing it to quit wasting my time and quit wasting the people's time that takes the time to call in. Um, another concern that was brought up was that I don't check in enough with my sponsor sponsees. Um, and with that, I have a system in place that I do with my new recruits. I check in prior to shooting star and I check in prior to sensational start and I push you to get to certified. By the time you've gotten certified, I feel like you have enough of the tools to start working your own business. Um, after that point, if you have issues or concerns, I'm not a mind reader, um, so you have to come to me. Um, I have over 50 personal recruits and I have over 150 people on this team. I would love to sit there and chit chat with every single person. Um, but I don't have time to do that if I want to work my own business as well. Um, when I was messaging every single downline, um, half wouldn't respond. Um, majority would tell me that they were doing good. And the ones that did have issues um, were the ones that were already regularly communicating with me. Um, so it was kind of a waste of time. Um, but my door is open. If you have a question or a concern and you don't want to text it, um, and you want to set up a phone call, shoot me a message. I have many people that do that all the time. I might not be able to call you right away because I have a screaming baby in the background, but I'll call you um, and we'll get whatever fix that you need to get fixed. But you got to let me know. Um, another thing that was brought up was that you guys would like more trainings. Um, and that is something that I want to be able to do more, um, do more videos, post more videos of some of my Sensi sisters on some of the topics that you guys might want. Um, but the other thing is, is there's a training center for a reason. Um, I don't see a reasoning behind going and doing the work again to make a new video or a new file for you guys if the stuff is already in the training center. Um, I understand that maybe you don't have the time to get in the training center, but if you don't have time to do that, then what makes me think that you're going to have to take the time to watch the videos or read the files that I, I upload. So I do plan on doing more trainings. But at the same time, there are some that are already available, but you have to make the effort to go learn those things. Um, there's also times where I might not answer somebody's question. Um, and it's not that I'm trying to ignore you or uh, be mean. Um, it's because it's probably a question that you have the access to find it, and I want you to learn how to find it. Um, because once you start getting team members, they're going to have questions too. And I want you to be able to direct them in the, direct, the right uh, direction rather than just answering their questions um, right away for them. That's what makes a good leader is being able to train your team um, on how to help themselves. You can't hand everything to them. It's their business. They have to work it. Um, and that's something that was kind of hard for me at the beginning because all I wanted to do was answer questions right away. Um, but then it got to the point to where people didn't know where to find the answers because all they knew was to come to me and ask me the questions. And I got overwhelmed with too many questions. Um, so I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm trying to teach you. Um, 
Yes. Um, another thing that was brought up was that you guys would like more recognition. Um, I feel like I already do a lot of that. Um, I know that it's not always fair, but I can't help who's working their business um, and who's striving in their business. I try to make it fair by doing the ticket systems um, to where it's not always the top sales or the top recruits that are winning, um, but there's only so much I can do to try to make it fair. Um, plain and simple, life's not fair. Tough love, I'm sorry. Um, but I try my best. Um, the other thing is, is when you become a director, we're told to lead by example, and we are told to be there for support for our teams. We're not told that we have to have a team page. Um, we're actually kind of discouraged to do incentives because since he feels like they already give enough incentives, not only with commission, but charms and incentive trips, that that should be enough incentive on its own to have you guys work your business. Um, so when I'm doing the monthly incentives and sending the postcards and stuff like that, that's just because I like it. Um, that's one of my favorite parts of being a director is by being able to set up those different cues um, and those different things each month. Um, but if it's not appreciated, then I might just stop doing it. Um, another thing that was brought up was... Um, that you see the same people on the team page. Um, if that's an issue for you, then start being on the team page more. Um, I'm sure you're not the only one that feels that way. Um, but instead of complaining about it, do something to change it. Um, also, for 2016, one of my new things that I want to do is I'm going to have a planner and I'm going to have time set aside, blocked off to do phone calls, not just with my direct downline, but for everybody on the team. Um, I want to set those times aside for people that want to chat, even if it's not an actual issue, but you just want to brainstorm with somebody. I, I want to do that. But in order to do that, I need to know that you, that you want that time slot. Um, so if you need more one-on-one -on -one time with me, I'm perfectly fine with that. But you got to let me know because I'm not a mind reader. Um, I try to do my best, um, with getting back to everybody in a timely manner. Um, I try to share as much information as I can, but to be honest with you, sometimes you guys know information before I do. Um, or sometimes I'm given information and I'm told not to share it with the team yet until it's official on the news tab. And honestly, sometimes other directors just don't listen and they let the news out before they're supposed to. Um, but I will try to... Bring you guys more information, more tips, more trainings. Um, I will try to communicate more with you guys, but the ball's in your court. I can't message everybody. If you have an issue or a concern, you have to message me first. Um, and then we can sit there and take the time to chat or figure out whatever you need. But you have to come to me first. And that's for everybody. That's not just for my downline. Um, that's for everybody on the team that has me listed as a director. Um, I know that there are many things that I need to work on, but I'm still a very new director um, and I'm still learning things every single day. Um, so I hope that you guys will work with me in 2016 um, on some of these things. A lot of things are going to be trial and error. I might try something for one month um, and then if I don't get a good response or if I get negative feedback on it, then I'm just going to stop doing it. Um, but I won't know until I try it. So I hope that you guys can work with me and bear with me. And like I said, please, please message me or call me or email me. I might not get back to you right away, but I promise I will get back to you um, and figure out some time to sit down and chat with you guys. Um, I hope that this answers a lot of the concerns that were brought up yesterday. Um, if you have any other questions, concerns, suggestions, input, shoot me a message. Um, I'm here for you guys. But like I said, I'm not a mind reader. You have to let me know that you need my help. Um, so I hope everybody has a great day. Start working on those goals. And like I said, if you would like to set up some monthly or weekly calls, just shoot me a message and we'll get those set up for the new year. Have a great day, everybody.